I am definitely feeling the elevation, but sometimes that's what you got to deal with to get these kinds of views. Hey there, good afternoon. Manmichers, 2230 meters. Not much to see over there, but out here, looking pretty nice. So I'm staying at a uh, lodge down there at the uh, bottom where I started the uh, video and gotten the cable car there, gondola. And then I'm going to do a hike going along there, kind of into the mist, and then uh, down to a, a little town, I guess, and then take a train from there down. So a fairly uh, mellow day today, since it is going to be nice and downhill. Tomorrow I will be going up to Jungfrau, which is, I think, up there. And that is where you get, like, one of the most incredible views of the Alps that you can uh, see. It is also supposed to be super sunny, like a cloudless day tomorrow. I'm really hoping that that turns out to be the case so that you really get the uh, full effect. So anyways, let's uh, go poke around here and see a bit of uh, whatever we can see. Not sure how well you can see this here, but uh, there is Wengen. That's where I'm staying. Manlichen up to there. And then Kleine Schiedig is up there, so I'll walk along that and then Top of Europe, Jungfrau Jok, and lots more hiking, gondolas, towns. This is a really ultimate area of the Swiss Alps to explore. So Manlichen, 20 minutes. I guess that is the like top of that right up there. Let's give it a shot. Kleine Schittig. That way, an hour and a half. Let's go for it and see if maybe we get a uh, view down to the other side there. Das Erbe, the legacy. This World Heritage Site, the largest connected glaciated region in Eurasia, home to the Eiger, Monch and Jungfrau, as well as the great 
Alec Glacier represents the heart of the Alps and has more than 850 square kilometers of landscapes featuring outstanding beauty. It includes one of the most spectacular high alpine landscapes in the world. It extends over all vegetation levels and provides an excellent example for the emergence of the mountains and glaciers as well as the current climate change. In other words, glaciers disappearing, unfortunately. I can see the uh, top up there. There is the peak, and check it out, things are opening up. Oh yeah. Look at that valley down there, waterfalls. And up there, obscured by the clouds for now, Jungfrau Jok. A town down in that valley down there. Let's get up to the top. Still uh, misted over for now, but uh, things are heading in the right direction. And there we go, the sun is out. It is warming up. And uh, there's this weird gate. Not sure what its purpose is. Maybe keeping animals from coming up here. Epic spot, man. And all of the uh, peaks in the distance that you could see if it was a clear day, hopefully tomorrow. Scheinig Platt, Oberghorn, Holigant, August, Matthorn, Munch, 4,099 meters. That's pretty tall, but uh, Jungfrau is the tallest. It looks like 4,158. I'm gonna be hiking down there, Kleine Schiddig. Back at the gondola. Hour and a half to Kleine Schiddig. Let's see how long it actually takes. And looks like these are the ski slopes. And a ski chair, it would be amazing to come back here in the winter and experience this as a winter wonderland instead of a summer wonderland. Either way, it is really a Slice of mountain heaven. Look at this, a big cow.
It is such a tease to not be able to see those mountains there. My imagination is definitely filling in the gaps a little bit, but hopefully see it for real tomorrow. So this is the big city of Kleiner Schiedeg. The hike took an hour. Nice, pleasant, easy downhill hike. Train there. I guess it leaves every 30 minutes. And the uh, gondola up to Manliken cost 17 francs. That's about 19 bucks US. That was with a discount that you can get 30% off from your uh, guest house giving you this card. And then as long as you're up here, then you get 30% off. I guess all of the gondolas and maybe the trains too. I guess I'll find out in a second here. So it is leaving at 10.14, that is in three minutes. But I'm in no hurry. The next one is at 4.44 in 30 minutes. Go get a beer. That's where I'm staying, the Berghaus Hotel. And look at this, an absolutely cloudless day. Unbelievable, finally getting to uh, see the mountain. Look at that. I'm not sure which one that is, but uh, hopefully I will find out in the course of today. I will explain more later, but I will be going to the top of Europe. You'll see what that means. It is going to be absolutely spectacular. So my hotel is up on the hill up there. This is the little village of Wengen. Look at the uh, chess game going on there. So there are no cars in this town. Well, almost none. One there, one there. But you can't just drive a car up here. These are just kind of like delivery or maybe for uh, getting people around to their hotels. But you can only get up here by coming on the train from Lauterbrunnen down below, which I showed at the beginning of the video. And so I'll be catching the train from here back up towards Kleine Schedig, and then get higher up from there. So back at Kleine Scheidig, hopefully I'm pronouncing that a little bit better. And there will be another train going in 20 minutes to Jungfrau Jok. 
Have a good day. See you all. Jungfrau Jok, number 21, right? Yeah. Let's go this way. Okay. And then you can enter the gate green with a seat reservation, yellow without any reservation. Okay. Have a good day. Thanks a lot. I think that is the train there, so we are going somewhere up there. Young Frau Jok. So the price of this train ride is 200 francs. That is $217 US. And I'm not sure if that even includes the previous train ride from Wengen. But there is a more reasonable option, which is that uh, you get a uh, three-day pass. That is what I got. That is 239 Swiss francs. 239 francs is $260 US. And that covers everything for three full days. All trains, all gondolas in the area here. You can go wherever you want. So this is the first day of my three-day pass. So that makes it a lot more uh, manageable. All right, looking forward to this experience. The views are going to be absolutely phenomenal. for a viewpoint. So this train ride was a little bit different from what I expected because it was all in a tunnel. Almost the entire thing. So this is the last stop at Jungfrau Yu. We are way up there somewhere and there will be amazing views as soon as we uh, get out of here and uh, get out of the mountain.
I have no idea where I'm going. There's little information about what exactly you do and where things go, so I'm just following this ice tunnel. Uh, we have the the I just want to get outside. <laughs> Finally, I'm outside. So unfortunately, this is not where you could do that longer hike where I was seeing like lots of people like hiking up one of the uh, valleys. There hasn't been a single information person anywhere that I've seen so far this whole time, so I haven't been able to like find out anything. So there's the observatory where I was before. So how do you get to the proper hiking and get away from the tourist crowds? Well, I could just uh, hop over this rope. Looks perfectly safe. Just kidding. But uh, yeah, these views are out of this world. So I think I need to be on the other side of all of this is where the other hiking was. So I'm back where I started. This is the uh, train station. You are here. Here is where I was just outside. And then I want to get over here to the snow fun. So I have to go back all the way through here. And then it looks like I have to take a right here where before I took the elevator up to the top. Okay. to the right. Okay, this should be it. Freedom! Let's go for a hike. See where this goes. 45 minutes looks like to Alpine experience at 36.57 meters. So 
I guess I get up to the top of that saddle up there probably and get some views looking down the other side. All right. Even with the hat and the sunglasses on, the snow is blinding. So bright. So I thought that it might be cold. Quite the opposite, I was totally overheating. Now I'm perfect. So I have to give a shout out to Carl Watson. I'm sure that many of you will uh, know who he is. He makes uh, travel videos as well, very uh, high quality videos. I'll put his name here if you want to uh, check him out. So a year ago, then he posted a video from Wingen and the area around, and that is what put it on my list of destinations that I really wanted to visit on this trip. So thanks, Carl, for the tip there. I am definitely feeling the elevation, and it's only uphill from here. Definitely worth it, though. There is the observatory perched atop that hilltop. What a just dramatic sight. And so I guess that is Jungfrau Jok Mountain there, I believe. Could be wrong. And then Munch is one of the other mountains here, and Eiger. Some of the highest peaks of the Alps. There's a drone up there. Hard to see. There's the drone operator. And we got a lodge precariously perched. And more views. <laughs> Oh man, I can't believe I did this. I totally lost track of the time. Gotta hurry up. It's beer 29. I'm late. Okay, this might be good news. The helicopter hasn't left yet. I might still make it. Thank <laughs> you. 